All right, back in the club. Woo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back from more Grand Theft Auto Online. And we be popping in this club. <laughs> it's a great club. Great property. All right, so today we're going to go over the uh, the uh, nightclub as a business, as a money-making venture. And there's a lot to cover in this, so it's a little complicated. I'll try not to keep it uh, too long. Um, you know, you might want to have a pen and paper or just bring up the video over and over. It's up to you. <laughs> but there is, uh, there is a bunch of information. Now, just so you guys know, as I go through it, you won't necessarily have to remember this. It'll matter more when you get there, um, you know, and you can decide. And a lot of this information is, is just so you know, you know, you would necessarily do the bad ways or the low or ways or things like that right so but it's good to know all this information so we're going to go through it all i love my name there studio los santos yeah yeah i am enjoying it thanks tony <laughs> hey lester i'm busy busy though but doing great you should visit the club <laughs> all right so here we are in the office this is where all the money making action begins all right so everybody, this, so this is still new, so um, I might do another guide down the road, so keep your eye open for that, uh, when more information has been discovered about this, and because uh, people have to, you know, you have to run missions. It, it's, it, like a lot of Rockstar uh, stuff, um, it can, it's not so simple as what makes the most money. A lot of people who look for that, what's the biggest payout, what makes the most money? Quite often that isn't always the best profit, the most money. You know, sometimes things that are easier, that pay you less, pay more in the end. Um, like we've compared Headhunter to Sightseer, and in the end, Headhunter is, in my opinion, a better mission. Because once you get good at Headhunter and you run it from the city, you can do it on average in about two minutes. And that's $20,000 every two minutes that you run that mission. And Sightseer, no matter how good you get at it, um, it takes longer than that. So sure, you make a higher payout, it's $25,000 um, or $23,000 but you're actually better off with Headhunter, being you, it's way faster time and giving you more time to run off and do something else that makes money, right? So, uh, long story short, these uh, profits can be hidden and you wanna keep that in mind as you go through these things because um, there's different times, different timers, and uh, yeah, so we'll go through it all. So here's our office here in the nightclub, right here. And uh, this is where, like I said, all the action takes place, right at your office computer there. Now, there is other computers in the place. Now, just so you know, we're going to be adding in some other uh, nightclub stuff, too, because this is kind of our episode three of the nightclub. Missed a couple of little minor things when we're going through, like the, the light switch over here. This is cool. Not necessarily good for business, but, you know, makes it look good. <laughs> so you can dim the lights like that. If you want to, activate the privacy glass. And then you'd stand over here in the window. <laughs> and then they'd see the shadow of the boss man with that window behind him. <laughs> so many movies, you know, the club owners up there in the shadows behind the privacy glass. <laughs> it's awesome. I wonder if people can see you. They probably can't, but that'd be cool. Yeah. No, no, I want that on. And I want the lights back on. So that's kind of cool. There's drinks everywhere, like we were talking about. Mm hmm. All right, so this is all to your office. Now, another thing I wanted to show you here is your safe. So this is free, comes uh, automatically with the, uh, the nightclub, and so does the ability to spawn into the nightclub as well. So you can spawn here. So most other properties, you have to buy a, a, a private quarters of some sort um, in order to be able to uh, spawn into the game right there, which saves you time, right? Or change sessions and go right there. So um, uh, it's nice that uh, you, you can actually uh, spawn right in here for free. Well, for free, but included with your nightclub. As well, you get the Speedo Custom Van included with a nightclub too. And I think that's the only way you could actually get your hands on it. Yep. To own it anyway. Now, this is our safe here. And as you can see, there's some money in there. Uh, the wall safe in the bottom right corner says $20,000. And uh, the uh, popularity bar is right below that. So we'll get to that. So this is the first part of the money-making business. Now, there, like I said, it's kind of multifaceted business. So um, it's as a property. And a lot of people ask, well, would I recommend it? Well, I would say, um, eh, well, I'd recommend getting other things first because they're probably better. But this is a great top-off. This is a great top-off property, top-off money on top of your other businesses. And we'll get to that stuff in a bit. Um, so if you're at that level like I am, uh, or you just want the nightclub too and to start off on it, um, there's nothing wrong with it. It makes money. It's good. You know, probably better than the hangar and stuff like that. I love my hangar, but as a business, it's not necessarily the greatest. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, it's a great property that way. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it as a starting player's business. That's for sure. 
Okay. Now as a property itself, like I said, I'm, I'm being a little funny about this because I don't want to not recommend it because I do recommend it. If you like properties like I do, um, places to go on out there like this, um, it's a great place to go. It's awesome. It probably beats the yacht for me and I love me. My yacht. This is awesome. This is a great place to go. And you and uh, your friends and the whole session can join up. I think you can have like 30 people in the club. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You know, and uh, compared to other properties, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to do, and there's a lot of ways of making money and a lot of ways to have fun, and plus real DJs, real music. Um, you know, well, I might uh, see if I can put up a, a playlist, uh, like put up a whole recording as a separate thing. Sometimes YouTube will let you, but uh, but you have to make sure they own it kind of thing. It's a conversation we'll have another day on how YouTube and copyrights work. But I might see if I can put something up um, for Solomon's Music and all the other DJs if we can too. Yeah, there's actually like a, the playlist is about an hour and a half, if I'm not mistaken. It's about an hour and 26 minutes. That's a lot of music, really. And if all the other DJs deliver that much music, that's a lot of new music being added to the, to the game. An hour and a half for each new DJ. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. In case any of you are wondering how long the DJ plays for. Now, on your computers, throughout the uh, the place and on this TV screen, you can actually watch um, the, uh, the performance of the um, uh, DJ down there. Uh, as he plays through too. And you can actually go AFK. So for those wondering who are waiting for the build, business to build up or other businesses to build up as we get to in a moment, um, but maybe you already have businesses like MC stuff, you can actually go AFK here if you're wondering, watching the uh, DJ play and listening to the music. Um, you know, you'd be wanting wanting to actually be in it. So maybe I should just show you guys. Actually go into it. Did I miss the spot? Press the button. There we go. Yeah, so you'd, don't wanna, you'd wanna be in this screen here. Yeah. And as well, you can also go AFK uh, away from keyboard for those people who don't know. But, uh, um, you know, if you're not paying attention too much, the game will kick you, right? And some people are just waiting for things to be ready, their businesses to fill. And so you can actually do that from the DJ screen or from any of these security cameras. Yeah, and we'll get to those in a moment. So let's uh, sit down to the computer here. Now, in order to sit to the computer, you need to be a part of an organization of some sort. So an MC, a VIP, or a company. Now, on that note though, you don't actually need to be part of the company for this business to work. You can actually, it's probably better to go around just as a white player, I guess I would call it, like a white dot, um, because uh, not be part of your MC, not be part of your company, because that would, you know, when you're in them, you increase your bills. It charges more bills for your properties out there. So if you're as a regular player, it charges you a little less per day in game. And that can add up for those that care about that, right? But anyway, to access the computer, like we're going to right now, you do need to be in the company. And then afterwards, I just leave the company. Okay. And I'd recommend the company because the MCs can be rated. Yep. Now your nightclub can also be rated. Don't know how often that is. Uh, people don't know they're testing. It's hard to say. So far, I haven't heard much about it. So that's a good thing. And there is upgrades that I've gotten and we're going to go through that uh, security lowers it. And imagine like other businesses, as long as you don't leave it full for too long, you'll be okay. But we'll see how that goes. But, you know, for now, you want to buy the security upgrade that we're going to get to. And yes, your, this business can also be rated. So I'd give that two thumbs down if I could. <laughs> not big on rates, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, maybe they're not as, maybe they're more manageable than the MC stuff. The MC stuff is manageable. It's just really annoying. Yeah. Really annoying for no payout. Just risks your stuff for no payout. It's rather annoying. <laughs> okay. So we're going to log into the computer here for a moment and we're going to go through all the screens. I had an earlier recording for you guys, um, but it uh, it glitched out on me. It happens every now and again. It's rare. But of course it happens on an important one. It was really annoying. But it happened. Uh, and when we first come in here, uh, Tony will talk you through all this stuff and give you a brief rundown. Not very detailed anyway, though. But he'll give you a little bit of a brief run rundown and, and uh, Tony Prince will talk you through it. Okay, so here's the nightclub popularity bar. We've seen that in the bottom right corner. And the money. And I should have grabbed that money for you. Hmm. Well, we'll see. So um, then the safe, when we hop up out of there, it has a limit of $70,000, it seems. Now, I'm not sure what that's about, if that can change or how that works. But I assume for now that you don't want your, your safe to have any more than $70,000 in it because I think that's your profit for the nightclub itself, for it being a club itself. Um, and that's your profit. And if it, if it gets to be a full safe, you won't be able to make any more money. That money will be just disappearing out the door to the staff or something or free everything. <laughs> I don't know. So you want to empty that safe out before it gets to $70,000. To empty it, you open it like I did, and you just walk right up, and you pick it up in cash. And then you probably want to deposit it. So you deposit it through the bank, through your uh, phone. 
Okay, so now moving on, underneath we've seen that, uh, in the other screen we've seen the nightclub popularity bar in purple. And here it is again up here in detail. Now that nightclub popularity is the money you make per day. So for, for the nightclub you make $10,000 per day as long as your nightclub popularity is, is full. And I'd say full being the last bar, it's probably like ending right around here. So as long as you're above here you make about $10,000 per day. Okay, and it goes down from there. All right, now, so this is always dropping your popularity of your nightclub. You do missions to increase your popularity. So we'll get that in a different screen where you can where you can do promotional missions. There are cooldown timers between all these things, just so you guys know. Um, so keep that in mind if you're doing a bunch of stuff that there are cooldown timers between them. Okay? But anyway, you'd run one of those promotional missions and that increases your popularity and then gets your payback up. So that's the passive income, and it's not great money, but it's it's I, I wouldn't complain. It's good money. It's uh, it's making you um, you know ten thousand per in-game day. That's every forty-eight minutes um, in game would be a full day, and uh, it kind of offsets your bills in a sense. And it's making a passive income without you having to do any work. You could sit there dancing in the club, and and it'd be keeping up. And you have to do some. Some people do complain about these missions, but apparently they're easy, and apparently they can be done in invite-only sessions, like private sessions. You don't have to be public for them. There is some minor things you need to be public before, and we'll get to that. Right now I'm in an invite-only session, actually, and the first time in my club, just to try out some of this. So, this is uh, just the basic rundown. It tells you, it tells you your total earnings, as you've seen, and where our sales completed, none yet, and where our earnings, none. Okay, and then my nightclub's made uh, 20000 so far for two days. I got that, and then I got another one, and my, my recording got messed up there, but that's okay. It's in there, it's gathering up. Yeah, and we've got some stock forming in there, which is great. So, we're going to get to that. Now, first, maybe we'll go right to the upgrades. A little out of order, but uh, like I said, um, that one recording kind of messed up on me. So, there are upgrades in the business. They, they love to charge us more money. So, much the same as the MC businesses and other businesses out there, they quite often have these little upgrades that you got to buy. All right, so the uh, equipment upgrade is 1425000 That's the big one added on your club. So, that's another big chunk of money. Um, so one and a half million dollars for the equipment upgrade, and it will um, it will uh, uh, purchase this upgrade to install higher quality equipment. This will improve productivity of your warehouse technicians, allowing them to accrue goods faster. All right, so you do want this, even though it's expensive. Sorry, a little more coffee, um, because uh, uh, that will help the business. As we're going to explain the business in a moment, this back business, the warehouse management, in a moment. But uh, basically, a lot of the money I'm going to be telling you is assuming that you have bought in the equipment upgrade. And like the other businesses, you do want to, because it's usually not very good profit or whatnot without the equipment upgrades and the other businesses as well. Okay, so all this money that we're gonna be talking about is assuming you've bought in the equipment upgrade and you should buy the equipment upgrade as soon as you can. Okay, even though it's another one and a half million dollars. Okay, staff upgrade. And the staff upgrade is $475,000 I had to spend on that. And that is a purchase that's upgrade to hire additional bartenders and bouncers. This will reduce the daily popularity loss in the nightclub. And it does work. So we're going to go around. So now I've got uh, many bars with dual, dual um, uh, bartenders on them now. And they fully work. And there's more uh, bartender or uh, more bouncers all over. And I've got security. Well, we're going to get to that too. So there's more people in the, in the club now. Yep. And basically, you know, other than it just being a novelty of more people being in the club, it actually slows down that purple bar that we were talking about from going down to keep your to keep your passive income every day up. Okay? Or from slowing down too much. Now, moving on. Just the, the security upgrade. So, you get some uh, rent to cops in your uh, in your club. <laughs> and the security upgrade is 695,000. So, that's almost 700,000. And it lowers the rates. So it purchases an upgrade to install security guards and surveillance equipment. This will reduce the likelihood of nightclub being attacked by enemies. All right. So that does put the little rent cops all over the place. You'll notice uh, more more security all over the place. And I think these guys are going to run every, every basement floor all the way down. Yeah. So hopefully that does reduce the rates. Maybe I'll never see one. I don't know if I'd be that lucky. <laughs> okay. So moving back up here. Nightclub management. Player visits. Zero so far. I haven't opened it up to the public public. Public, public, yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. Current clientele, full house, because we're popular. So, yep, I think that makes the, well, that's what that kind of implies. Current daily income is 9,000, so I'm down from my 10,000 now just. So I've lost my one block that we were talking about. Safe capacity is $70,000. Now, I don't know why it tells me that. Maybe there's a way to increase your safe capacity as time goes by or something, or maybe that's just the way it is. 
So like I said, you want to empty that before 70,000. No celebrity appearances. I guess, uh, I guess Laszlo doesn't count. <laughs> and there's our daily income bar. And now we're probably going to see it drop down a little bit for whatever that that's needed. Now there's the promote club. That's how you'd launch missions to be able to uh, promote the club. Um, generally you'll get funny little missions like a, a chrome helicopter and you'll fly around the city uh, dropping leaflets for the, for the club. It's basically like a bomb or a, or a product delivery mission. You know, and it's easy missions usually. Uh, they can be a little difficult if somebody messes with you in the session, which is why it's a good idea to go to the uh, invite-only sessions or a private session with your friends. You can do invite-only sessions for those that don't know by, by loading the game and going into single player first. And then when you go to online from there, you'll see the option for invite-only. So you can go in there and then you're left alone to do the promotion of the club. All right, and generally the, all this will work and make money all the time that you're in the invite-only session. Okay, so resident DJs. We have Solomon right now. Yeah, he plays very good music. <laughs> All right, so later on, um, in, um, probably next Tuesday, there'll be the next DJ, and then the next DJ, and the Tuesday after that, and then the next Tuesday after that, the fourth DJ, uh, which I think is Black Madonna. So um, then later on, you'd be able to pick what DJ you want in your club, which is kind of cool. I hope they give us even more DJs in the future, but that's kind of cool that you can pick between them. So that means, you know, if you're going around a full session to different people's clubs, you might see different clubs with playing different music. And like I said, that's an hour and a half long play session. So that's lots of music. And, and then you'd have all this different lots of music from all the different DJs. So some variety. You'd pick the resident one. That'd be the one playing in your club. Nice and easy on that screen. Nightclub popularity, yeah, it just goes with that. Okay, warehouse management. All right, so now we're getting into the warehouse um, business. So so we're going to go through some more floors and we're going to have a look at some more stuff, but this is where all the stuff is. And like I said in the beginning, there's a lot to go through. <laughs> okay, so here's where we start getting into it. Okay, guys, so you've got your property as a nightclub, very fun. And then you've also got your passive income that we've just covered, it making money as a popular club and how popular it is and emptying your safe before it gets too full. Okay, now we've got another level, though, a third level, and this is like in the basement. This is your backroom stuff. This is in the warehouse. So it's basically called the warehouse, but I hesitate to call it the warehouse all the time because you get confused with all the, all the other warehouses we have in the game. So, uh, so yeah, this is a third level, and, and it's going on in the basement of your club. And this is more your kind of business. This is no longer public club area. This is your area, right? Okay, so these are your technicians. It comes free with one technician with the club. All right, then you after you go do the mission to go get him. When you open the, the club, you have two setup missions that are rather easy. And once they're done, you've got uh, a technician for free, among other things. Now, when you hire these technicians, they cost you money. And they can uh, get you goods down here. And we're going to get to that in a moment. Now, these technicians cost money, so I think it was like, uh, I should have recorded it, well, I did record it, but like I said, it got messed up. So I think it was around a hundred, hundred and four, hundred forty thousand dollars $140,000, then it was like uh, $200,000, $240,000, so it was steadily going up. I imagine this guy would be around $280,000, $250,000 $300,000 for, for the uh, last and final technician. So just so you know, they have a cost. It seems like a one-time cost. I don't think there is any further cost unless they're built into your bills but now they're a permanent part of our, uh, our company. All right, and we can actually go see them. So select a warehouse technician and assign them to manage an available goods type. The associated business must be active in order to gain access to each type. Assigned technicians will automatically accrue goods for you over time in the nightclub warehouse. Okay, so, um, so over time, so this business is not necessarily fast. You wanna think of it as another kind of passive business. Um, but instead of the nightclub making you passive money, think of it just like, passive business. So it's passively gaining you weed, gaining you um, deals and cars and meth and stuff. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the way it is. And then you'd run sell missions to get that money. Okay. So that's why you need those warehouses. And the more warehouse space you have, the more you can store and the bigger sales you can make. You don't necessarily need them. You can do the sales off, and I got a feeling being solo player more often than not, you probably won't, like all the others, will probably keep to the smaller sales, depending on what kind of vehicles they give you. Actually, well, we already know the answer. Uh, I can tell you right now, uh, when you do the sell missions, it gives you the vehicles that come in the, the company. So, I'll just pop out of here. Does it let me access my phone in here? Oh, I got to stand up just to pull up my phone. <laughs> That's okay. We'll go check out the basement computer while we're up. Yes. Hey, LJT. Yeah, I'm busy in the club, Bob and I'll get back to that soon. <laughs> All right, 
So let's see, bring up the internet. We're going to go to war stock here for a second. And uh, there is the Pounder Custom and the Mule Custom. And there's also the van, the, um, the Speedo Custom that's down in our garage that, we're gonna, that comes free with the nightclub. So those are your cell vehicles. They come, so you get the one free one that comes included. And then after some missions, uh, you can get a discount on these ones if you want to as well. After five missions, you get the trade discount. And after 10 missions, you get, or 10 cell missions, you get the uh, discount on the Pounder. Okay, now those are the main cell missions and it automatically gives them to you whenever you sell. So at least you know what, what vehicles you're going to get, it's going to be those. And it already comes included with one, so you probably want to upgrade it. <laughs> we'll get to that um, in brief, but I'm going to do a future episode, maybe even next episode on the Speedo Custom. Okay, so that's how you sell, and those are the, the cell vehicles that you get to do it. Hay. It's LJT. I, did I just talked to you? Got bales of high yeah, yeah, I know. He gets around town fast. <laughs> Everybody's calling him, I know. So, let's pick up our money. Boom. Walked across, now empty. Alright, so, 20 grand. And I already picked up, uh, I think, 20 grand before, so... Now nah, I picked it up. I wonder if maybe this increases your chance of getting raid if, if you don't uh, close this. Or not close it, um, uh, empty it, I should say. So, 40 grand of our millions back. <laughs> Woohoo, making money. I'd go have a drink, but uh, we got to keep going. All right, so let's keep going. So now we're going to go down to the basement. So in this office, it's kind of convenient. You can get, uh, once you get used to the hang of where everything is, you can access things from here pretty good. You can look at the club, you can go through those doors, or more importantly, go to this elevator right here. And now we can go to our levels. Now this is uh, all my levels for cars and whatnot. I think I need to buy more warehouses to get level 5. Now, really all that really matters as far as a business goes is basement level 1. Okay, so business level 1. <laughs> That's how I like to think of B1. Alright, so for you guys, the most important part is that office there. But separately, alternatively, because you don't need one or the other, you can also come down to business 1. So down on business 1 floor, you have another uh, office computer right here. Identical to your one upstairs. So I think pretty much in every way. Now we're going to sit back down there in a second. But I thought I'd go over here while we're here. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, this is one of my new guys right here. I think you have to give him a name. I don't think he comes with a name. But it doesn't want to just know his name. Nobody wants to go no names, right? <laughs> so we'll have to come up with our own name. You know, that's why they come up with like Mr. Black, Mr. Pink, Mr. White. Mr. Blue. <laughs> we'll go up with something better. But that's a gun running guy. So he's uh, sourcing gun running for us. And as you guys can see, he has sourced some for us right here. So this is just a uh, decorative novelty, I'm sure. But in these areas, which I think are my warehouses, they will slowly fill up with, uh, with his stuff that he's slowly, passively getting. So I don't have to do anything. He's just kind of doing his animations, I guess you could say, his thing. And uh, slowly just stuff appears that he's sourced out there in the world. Probably from your guys' companies. <laughs> Alright. Now this is the main office where you usually find those guys hey, when you hire your technician. Yeah, no. No, we don't we don't need you up there yet. <laughs> oh, I think there's some ammo there. There's little guns uh, stashed here and there. There's a heavy revolver in the uh, in the main office upstairs. Yeah, when we go back up there. I've been looking at some listings, boss. There's a lot of businesses out there going to waste, in case you're interested. Hi. <laughs> he quite often tells you about, I've only got the one, I've got all businesses, but the one uh, biker business document and forgery business. The not recommended business, because it generally doesn't profit. And it's funny, he'll, it's the one he'll mention that we don't have, because he can't, he can't source from it. <laughs> so that's your starting technician, and he tends to talk more. The other guys don't actually say anything, but he'll, he talks but a lot. Could always hire more. Bye. Yeah, see, so he tells you things like that. <laughs> we keep them down here tight. But yeah, you can hire one more, so I can have five technicians. Now you can um, assign them on seven different businesses that we're going to see on the computer. So that means you got to choose which two get nobody. Yeah, there's our Speedo custom van right down there. Can't bring up a listing because you can't buy one. It comes with the nightclub only for now. And it also shows up in your special vehicle menu, and that's the only place where you can find it. I think. That's how you're supposed to spawn it, if you're using it outside the cell missions. 
So we're going to upgrade that too. And you upgrade it right in the nightclub. So that is part of the business because that is your main cell vehicle until you buy the mule or the MTL pounder or both. Oh, yeah, put me a pop it for a second. So I told you guys I bought all those uh, equipment upgrades and we can look around the club, but one thing is the uh, security here. And it's got a got a decent security system, I guess. There's Outback, which I think is where you come in and leave. So I guess that's the main camera for you anyway. That's where you would uh, be coming and going. Somebody who's waiting on you would be back here, I suppose. Yeah. Now we got me. Still tap into the music. <laughs> Making sure everybody's at work <laughs> in the room we were just in. One of the warehouses, I think the main one, just off B1. There's the B1 uh, elevator. There's our uh, our van, rear view, and all these cameras I can look around too. So, variety of cameras you can see too. And as I was mentioning, you can go AFK on those cameras, away from keyboard, if you need to step away for a little while, or say you're waiting 20 minutes for your business to fill and you don't want it to time out on you, you can stay in the security camera or watch the DJ, and it won't kick you up, much like watching TV. All right, let's log back into the computer here. Now, where were we? So like I said, lots of different things to cover. Hope I am uh, hope it's uh, easy to follow for you guys, because there is a punch to it. So there's our one left guy that we can hire, and I'll hire him later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 312,000. Yeah. A little bit more than I guessed. <laughs> yeah. Leave myself something to do later, right? And I don't have the, the MC business document forgeries, like I said, and so thus printing and copying is unavailable. So they have these other names for them, but it tells you what it is when you click on it. Um, to accrue weed, you know, and this guy's, you can find out by clicking through them who's on what. Yep. So, technicians assigned, four out of four, available goods, six out of seven, accrued, goods accrued, three. So, basically, it's uh, I've got four four technicians. I could, it'll say five one day if I get them all, or one or two, or however many you decide to get for yourself. The more there is, the more money you can make, I guess, right? Available goods, so this would be available businesses, is really what this is, where, where it can get your stuff from, your goods from. So, available goods is... Um, is uh, the six businesses, I guess, that accounts that I have. Now, just, you know, to amalgamate some things, I think CO crates uh, and CO cars are considered one thing by this system. So, either way, um, the one thing I don't have is the document forgery, so it says six out of seven available places to get those goods. Goods accrued, so already they've got me three goods. We'll go, and that's probably uh, the, um, the guns and ammunition we've seen were probably some of those goods accrued already by this guy right there. So, and he is on sporting goods. Yep. On weapons. Yeah. So right now I'm using weapons and uh, cocaine and meth and counterfeit cash. Yep. And leaving me other things that I probably should switch around to. I was just kind of playing around with it for now. Okay, so moving on to the next parts, selling goods. Okay, so here is the, the screen that shows me the goods we have. These are the goods we have in the uh, warehouse right now, in, our, in the bottom of our nightclub. So we have some, some sporting goods. Uh, and I need to, yeah, like I said, the only thing you need apparently to be in a public session for is to be able to sell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to double check. But there was nothing else to that bit. Hmm. Yeah, lots and lots of information to the club, and I'm going to grab some more right now. Oh, yeah, business battles. I knew there was one other thing, yeah. So business battles. That's a new thing that they have. It's basically like a free roam event and uh, pits all the businesses in the area against each other for a bunch of some of this stuff. So you would go and battle people for it. So for that, you need to be in a public session. And in order to sell any of this, you need to be in a public session. But the good news is everything else can be done in invite only or in a private session otherwise. 
Okay, now um, this is what we have right there. We could sell it for these amounts. Now I'm going to go through a bunch of these amounts for you so you guys can break them down. And this is what I mean about you might want to pen a paper in this part or just uh, just uh, bring it back up over and over a few times if you need to. But you can also decide what, you know, I don't think it'll matter once you get the hang of which ways you want to go. And I'm hoping in the future people will know better the different amounts and the things you can do. So we're going to get to these special orders in just a second. Okay, well, actually a, a minute <laughs> with all this information. Okay, so if you're wondering about the amounts, so for uh, for printing, which is the documents and forgeries, um, it takes about 15 minutes to accrue um, one of their units. Okay, so it takes 15 minutes for one to show up, and it's worth about $1,000. Okay, now that means that uh, it, it can accrue about $4,000 per hour out of it. Now, uh, in your warehouse, and I think this is with maximum, you can hold up to you can hold up to 60 uh, units of printing of the document forgeries, and that would give you uh, $60,000 profit. Now, whenever you sell these things, though, Tony, as he explained in the earlier episodes, he, he takes 10% cut of whatever you do. So these amounts, so it's $60,000, but it would actually be 54000 after Tony's cut. Okay? And we're going to go through the rest like that. So um, organic product, produce, which is weed, takes 20 minutes to be ready. And uh, that's worth 15000 per unit. And it's uh, 4500 per hour. And it can hold 80 in your warehouse. And that equals 120000 And that equals 108000 in profit after um, uh, Tony's... Um, uh, cut cash is uh, uh, 30 minutes so the counterfeit cash where's that cash creation right there it's 30 minutes and it takes yeah 30 minutes to get 3500 7000 per hour and you can hold 40 units of cash of the counterfeit cash and that equals $140,000 in profit and that's 126000 to you after um, after Tony's cut now the bunker, uh, the bunker, which would be, where is that? Sporting goods. Yeah. Sporting goods. Yeah. Sporting goods, uh, is 40 minutes to accrue it and it's 5,000 for each unit and it's, uh, 7,500 per hour. You can hold a hundred of them and that equals, uh, 500,000. But after Tony's cut of selling those, it would be 450,000. Okay. Meth, 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 pharmaceutical research. All right, and uh, that would be uh, 60 minutes to accrue a unit. Pardon me, sorry, I had to cough there. Okay, so yeah, 60 minutes for meth, 8,500 per unit, and then it can hold 20 units, and that would be equal 170,000, uh, 153,000 after uh, Tony's cut. Is what see all these seem to be now this is me gathering a bunch of information guys so you know let me know if any of this comes out as wrong or anything like that hopefully it's all right it should be all right but um, it takes time to figure this all out so this is using all kinds of different people's information for the little bits they know and putting it all together so all of us know a bunch more <laughs> so hopefully we'll see how it goes in the future like i said there can be hidden things in these things too like the like the the lower profits being easier missions and the higher profits being harder missions and sometimes you're actually better to go low to get the easier missions done faster you know there can be hidden ways that it makes more or done easier so cargo shipments and ceo hangar right there so that's what they've amalgamated yeah the hangar shipments and the cargo shipments um, yeah, that takes 70 minutes to put together a unit and that's a hundred thousand dollars value or sorry, yeah, 10,000 value, um, 8,000, oh, I think I got wrong numbers there. It's backwards. 8,570 per hour, uh, it can hold 50 units and that is 500,000. Yeah. And 450,000 after Tony's cut Coke, where's Coke South American imports. South American imports is Coke. And that is uh, 120 minutes to put together. So two hours, and that's uh, $20,000 per unit. So that works out to like 10,000 an hour. So it's, it can hold 10 in your warehouse, and then that sells for 200,000, and it's 180,000 after Tony's cut. 
Okay. So the max total, if you were to say, if you were to store, store everything in here with uh, all the warehouses, I believe, it would be roughly about 1,690,000 in, in, in value. And uh, if you sold that after Tony's cut, it would be 1,521,000. Okay, so that's the rough guesses of what it can fit and potential sizes of one big cell where you sell, it, sell all goods. Okay, now that said, most people are not going to do that, obviously, uh, and not going to do it quite like that. But that gives you an idea of how it works. And like I said, you don't have to go, well, good or bad, because this is all passive. Like if you have these, so in order for these to work, let's get into that information. So in order for all this to be here, all you need to do is own the business, the MC business that's out there somewhere, my CEO crate warehouse that's out there somewhere, my bunker that's out there somewhere. All you need to do is own it, and it needs to be open. That's it. So it doesn't need to have any product. It doesn't need to have any supplies. It can be a hurting business that LJT is calling you about all the time because you won't supply them. <laughs> all it needs to be is open and you own it, right? And that's it uh, for this to work. So this is, um, so I thought before they would actually connect, but they don't really. Um, all these goods that they're getting for me to sell are on top of my other goods. So nothing has changed at my places. They've still got the same amount of cocaine. They've still got the same amount of counterfeit cash over at my counterfeit cash factory for the MC. None of those things have changed. For some reason, because I own it, I guess because Rockstar wants you to buy all these and more money, right? But, uh, but because I own them, now you can run these missions. But these are actually added on top. So that's why I kind of call it a top-off business. Because these are all available because I own those other businesses. But they don't actually work together any more than that beyond that, as far as I can tell. Okay, so hopefully that clears that up for you guys, that they don't actually connect, they don't actually supply from one to the other. You don't even need supplies in your other businesses or product. All they need to be is owned and, and, uh, and open. Yeah, turned on, if you will. Because yeah, you can close businesses, for those that don't know. So you need to make sure it's open, run the setup mission, and that's it. And then it'll show up in here for the nightclubs. Okay, so when you look at it that way, this is extra money on top of my other businesses. So when you look at it that way, it's actually pretty good money. Um, you know, as a single business, meh. but as an add-on business, maybe this is not bad. But again, you have to think of it as icing on a cake, you know, not, uh, not as a cake all by itself. Okay. Now, down here to special orders. Moving on, but we're almost done with this stuff now. The special orders is how you make even more money. So it's hard to say what, because there's a whole bunch of these guys. And I'm sure later on we'll, you know, other people will be able to assemble, um, a bunch for uh, people to be able to put together some guides for us. But basically, um, there is a bunch of different orders that you'll see show up and they will change over time and they will change as you do them. And they're basically a variety of different things. So you can sometimes, like I don't have printing and copying, but if I did those battles in the free roam, maybe I can get my hands on some that way. Or I could just go out there and buy a document forgeries company and get it working on that. But anyway, this these things give you extra bonuses. That's why you would do them. And uh, the bonuses are decent from what I've told. And there is also bonuses for selling with more people on the session. So the more busy the session, the more bigger the bonus too. And we'll have to get more again, more information on, on uh, how big of a bonus is, but it seems much similar to the CEO crates, which is actually a pretty good bonus, fairly generous bonuses. So if you, if you do have a bunch of friends or you trust yourself in a loaded session, um, you know, you can make a lot of extra bonus money that way. And yes, this is all bonus money. So you'll have to run them to see or click on them to see. Um, and I think in many ways you might need to get the goods to find out, but slowly we'll find out uh, how that all works. But basically it's the same money you've already seen up here. You know, just down here you would get bonuses on all of that by having it in a special order, giving this one, um, you know, 23 units of cash, of counterfeit cash, this one 48 units of cargo shipments and, and 29 units of printing and copying all at once and you would get a, a bonus on top of the regular amounts that you would have sold just by selling it normally. So it's hard to say if I'm ever gonna do those or if they're worth the trouble, but they do have bonuses and they do pay extra. All right, so that's the business on a whole and those upgrades we've already gotten and covered. And now we come back to this main screen, back to the home screen, and now you can see these are the, uh, the cargo down here and you can see the pharmaceutical research and stuff. And so now these might make some more sense to you that this is a in brief showing you all the tabs of all your different products that you're trying to accrue or what levels they are at and, uh, and how much you're doing, how you're doing. And then up here, how much is uh, waiting in the safe kind of stuff too. All right. 
Another LGT call. I don't know if you're Jeez. saving up that crystal. Yes, yeah, yes. Well, I got a nightclub now, so um, uh, I got a lot of friends who might need that. <laughs> Jeez, we should just have meth down here. We'd probably sell a whole bunch. <laughs> right at the club. But then again, the club won't probably last very long then doing that stuff. <laughs> All right. So that is all the stuff down here, yeah, other than your garages and the warehouses, which really are just for show like other ones, but I do like show. I'm all about properties and show. So that's kind of cool. And later on, we'll see all kinds of things show up in here. But, uh, let's take the elevator. Let's see if there's anything to see down at P2. In the warehouse. So just in covering the whole thing in brief, I guess, for this, um, it is also a garage with a whole bunch of cars. So a 30 plus car garage. Um, there is a, a top floor that already stores certain vehicles like your cell vehicles and things like that. And if you buy the other garages, which actually are pretty cheap add-on uh, compared to other businesses, they're actually a pretty cheap add-on. The warehouses cost you a ton more, but the uh, garages do not. So again, as a property, it's pretty cool. As a place to hang out or whatnot. Yeah, so here we are in the uh, B level, B2 level, and security, as you can see, guns, ammunition, there we go. Yeah, and another computer for me at all these levels, and you can watch the DJ at all these levels. Another one of our own personalized cops. Yep, and I think our warehouses are empty, but if I had to recruit a bunch of goods by now, you'd see them. If I kept on digging around, I'd probably find the rest of our goods somewhere around in one of these rooms. <laughs> Just like that box of ammunition that you seen earlier. Or something on the shelves. Oh, maybe there's something here. Yeah, there's some stuff being formed. Yeah. So, gives you an idea. Okay, let's hit that elevator right back in the central area. Now I'm starting to, starting to slowly get to know my way around. A little bit. Yeah, so a lot of information. I got myself some little to-do lists, but like, like usual, I didn't pay attention to it too much. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to have a look over it and just make sure we didn't miss anything here on there. Maybe we should go off drink in the meantime. Mm, yeah. So right here is our, our your main, I don't know, main office living quarters, I guess. Um, you can change your outfits and save them and all that stuff right here. And like I said, more ammunition. That was a heavy revolver weapon right there. Kind of handy. Yeah, and all the drinks from everywhere out there. Yeah, we'll pour one there. Okay, so other things that we've already kind of covered in the previous two episodes where we opened it up um, was that the locations don't really matter. You know, they, they vary a little bit like in how far it takes for you to get there, you know, how long it takes for you to do your cell missions from, and, um, you know, those setup missions, uh, how long it takes to get to your club. But at the same time, you only do those setup missions really once, really. So um, I don't think it's really much of an issue, you know, really. That's only one time you have to take that trip. So the locations don't really matter. Uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the drinking, we're gonna do some, some drinking, but in the meantime, there's the whiskey, the Macbeth whiskey, and that generally takes you right out. So watch out for that. That is the uh, the, the end drink of the night. So you have a Macbeth whiskey and uh, your night's over. <laughs> when you're ready to leave the club and not remember it, that's the one. <laughs> yep, yeah. So, hmm. I don't think we've acquired any more money in our safe yet. And we've gone through all the computer stuff now. Hmm. And even the security cameras. And that everything on there has cooldown timers, of course. Yeah. And that we don't actually be need to be an organization to run this. So I can actually, like I said, leave right now. And everything's still fully functioning. And I pay less bills. And less worry about risk of uh, raids with your businesses if you're worried about that. So it's not the quickest of businesses, but a lot of the passive income businesses like the uh, the bunker, you don't have to think of them that way. You, you want to think of them as ways to make money um, while you're doing other things. Or in a sense, making some small, small amount of money while you're doing nothing, while you're just hanging out in the club. <laughs> things like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that that is, is everything. Yep. 
special orders are the be likely the best ways and we're going to see about some cell emissions and see how that goes and we're going to uh, in the couple upcoming ones uh, see if we can uh, customize our uh, our um, speedo custom yep for uh, and our give it some armor which is kind of nice it has some bullet resistant glass so that's kind of nice so even by default it's it's not a bad van it's a better van than the regular speedo too for those that wonder if it's the same van as the regular van before you upgrade it no it's actually a much better van so that's kind of good to know Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, yeah, that's everything. Like I said, lots, lots to it. So if you know more that I might have missed, and of course there's more around here, but I'm trying to keep it focused to the business, well, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> and thanks to all subscribers. Thanks to all you Patreon fans too. Thank you very much for all the help. Makes a big difference. Yeah, hopefully we can keep on going and get better equipment so I can make them even faster, upload faster. And yes, live is coming. I'm getting back to that now that I uh, had that brief downhill. Now we're going back up. <laughs> Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Should we do Macbeth? Should we finish off the night with a touch of Macbeth? <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's a pretty much uh, the rundown of the company. You can also set your entry fee at the door, too. But I don't think you're going to make much money on that. I think the most you can set on your interest fee is uh, 100 bucks, And uh, and uh, $5 is the lowest or free, really. But $5 is the lowest paid amount. Yeah. But I wouldn't worry too much about that. But covering all the money, though. So, yeah. Hey, Member. Hey. Keep up the good work. Mmm. Mmm. We're gonna have. Uh, well, this time we'll keep it reasonable. Let's let's go with Richard's whiskey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little different than my uh, than my mount at the at the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the stuff. Pour it Mark, in. set, go. Woo! -hoo. All right. That's to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Overall, I I'd have to say I recommend the nightclub. But, um, you know, as a business, I'd say do it carefully and better to have other things first, as you guys can see. But if you think of it as icing on the cake when you've got a bunch of stuff out there, um, it's pretty great. Now, separate to that, if I think of it as a party, as a party hangout, as a place to go, I think it's, uh, it's awesome. Yeah. You know, Solomon's like my bestie. <laughs> I bet he is, Laszlo. I bet he is. <laughs> uh. Where's my car? I think my car's outside. I don't know why it does that. It should be in the garage. Kind of moves it around on you, I've noticed, since uh, starting up the club there. All right. Now, um, if for those that don't already know, you know, you can visit other people's clubs, like I already said, about the DJs and things like that. So that's kind of cool. So it's a social hangout. If you uh, let it be open on... Uh, in the uh, public sessions with lots of other people. Oh, the cow. My car is around the corner. It's already nearby. Doesn't look like it's nearby, does it? <laughs> uh. Yeah, that is a fireplace to put it. Nightclub staff and utility charges totaling sixteen hundred and fifty for the day. No, it's not too bad compared to the MC businesses and uh, the bunker businesses. That's not too bad. It's manageable business prices. Looks like we got lineups. Be like, there's the club owner. <laughs> Go in our back entrance. I'll try out the service entrance here. Enter your nightclub. Cool. Yep. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to remember. Maybe I'll put it on screen. Yep, shout out to the one in the comments there. Mention that, that this is our uh, service entryway. I, I was thinking that too, but I hadn't gotten around to trying it. 
But yeah, you have uh, more or less an extra parking spot at the very top too, by coming in that way. Yeah, and your car will stay there. And this is not exactly part of the uh, basement floors. So this is a whole separate parking spot. I don't think it's a permanent parking spot. I'm going to have to test that out, but I think it's like, uh, there's a couple other places in the game where you can leave them all session, but as soon as you leave the game, it, uh, it changes it again back. Still, very cool. And then you can run right in the office, jump back in your car and go. Good, Tony. Good. Just a phone call away. All right. All right. Sounds good. I'll take you up on that soon. <laughs> all right. Now those upgrades. So you already understand the security. Those those rent cops are all over the place. Now we got extra bouncers like this dude. What the hell ever? <laughs> Get back to work. Good to see you again. This place is cool. Yeah. Thanks, thanks man. Hey. Thank you. you. Yeah. I'm happy with my light show. But you guys are. There's so many different ones. I wish I could combine them. And that's why I'm looking forward to going out around to different people's clubs, seeing how it looks in all the different ways. Yeah. It'd be nice if they gave us more ways, but still, there's enough combinations that you can see some different stuff. But I'm pretty happy with it. But like I said, I went with the tracks, the light tracks, instead of the laser shows. I kind of wish I could do both, though. But I'm really happy with the uh, outcome. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Woo. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, owner coming through. Oh, wait, I wanted the bar. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a bar. Yeah, a bar right around here. See, now I've got two bartenders. That's your service, of course. Yeah, I think I can come back here. I don't know if I can serve at this bar, though. I think I'd have to go to the other one to serve the upstairs one. So you can serve drinks to your friends too. Anything you want, please let me know. That's time to end it. Give me, well, the bad stuff. <laughs> Macbeth. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, this is the end of this episode. We'll be back very soon to customize that van and uh, maybe get into some music and maybe hang out in the club some more and do some other things too that we were going to do already. I gotta go back to making some money. LJT keeps going. What, what, what are you talking about? I told you last time not to say that to me ever again. No, no, no. Where the hell am I? Yeah. Uh, uh, do I need to change? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. We're good. Yeah, let's get back to partying. Where am I? <laughs> Who are all these people? Hey. Cool. I forgot to go into my bathroom after they upgraded it. Looks good. Oh, that's not the way. That's the way. Woo. <laughs> all right guys so that's uh, another try so i might keep trying that too we'll get back to that i might do it might do an episode on it a small episode but there is a hidden t-shirt i'll let you guys know now and maybe some of you guys can get it early um, but there is the key flom t-shirt for those of you that are fans from the single player okay. game the uh the um uh what was their name the epsilon cult yeah yeah so the epsilon cult their 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 tag words and their hello and goodbye and their everything was keep long keep long keep long <laughs> Anyway, um, a little hidden uh, t-shirt unlock you can do. If you keep on drinking at enough clubs and you drink the Macbeth whiskey, it takes you out as you've just seen and you, you wake up somewhere else. Now, um, one of the rare times, you might have to do this a ton of times. It might be the very first time you do it. It's hard to say it's random, but apparently it's kind of rare. But one of those times, it might you might wake up at the uh, Epsilon headquarters, which is... I happen to know because i got an apartment right there, actually. Yeah, right there. There's the Epsilon building. Right there. And you'll wake up there in the property. And you know, usually it's gated off, but you'll wake up inside the property wearing one of their blue Keyflom t-shirts. Yep, and that's the, uh, the 42, apartment 42 we have there at uh, Tinsel Towers. Yeah, so that's the Epsilon building. And that's how you get a Keyflom t-shirt. All right, for those that want to know. And I might do that too. But like I said, you might have to drink the Macbeth many, many times before uh, you get lucky enough to get one, if you want one. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again soon.
One more, please. I told you I wasn't done. See, I'm back. I'm back. I, I can handle two. I was fine. I was totally fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. Have attached to the uh, sea legs, no? Yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm just gonna I'll see you later. lay down over here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we might be going far away for this one. Yeah. Uh, where did I sleep last night? Oh, daytime. Oh, it's so bright. Good thing I got my sunglasses still. <laughs> I checked my wallet. Uh, and go have a shower. <laughs> yeah. So that happens. <laughs> uh, one of these days I'll get lucky enough to have a new T-shirt, and hopefully not unlucky enough to be missing a kidney. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again soon. Get my car. <laughs> uh, I am the drunken missing sock. <laughs> Club owner extraordinaire. <laughs> oh, that's a loud horn, man. Easy. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you soon. Whoop. Drink responsibly. <laughs>